Hey guys, it's your girl Fitzid, back with another video. So I figured today we're gonna sit down and chit chat about how I got into the adult industry. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking this forever and I never really answered your guys' questions because I didn't know how the hell I even got in there myself. So today we're gonna talk about that. And I also wanna let you guys know, anyone that is interested in my content, I officially have my website live so you can click the link down below if you want to follow my socials if you want to see what my life is like you guys can go to the description box check out all of that and then if you guys have any questions specifically relating to this i'm going to do a q a all about what it's like to be in the adult industry and any questions you guys have pertaining to that comment them down below i'm going to refer back to this video when i do my q a if you are under the age of 18 if you are Sending photos that you shouldn't be sending, that is called child pornography. I am over the age of 18 and it is legal for me to do this. So I don't want to say that I am saying it's a good thing to do. I am not encouraging anyone else to do it. Just as a disclaimer, um, I think that this is like just my own story that I'm sharing and I'm not trying to tell anyone that this is a good thing or it's a bad thing. I'm just sharing my own personal story and yeah, so with that being said, let's jump into this. Okay, so first things first, I want to give you guys some background. So this was about like five or six months ago that all of this stuff happened and that um, I started doing this. So let's start back to square one. About six months ago, I had gotten broken up with with the guy that I thought we were going to have like a long lasting relationship. We were going through a rough patch. So I kind of knew it was going to be over. But like during that rough patch, my self-esteem, my confidence, everything just plummeted to the ground. And I definitely gained a little bit of weight during the relationship. So like I didn't feel as good or confident about myself. And during the whole relationship, I was having like, um, you know, anxiety, depression, just things that like. I struggle with on the daily but they were a lot more extreme when I was dating this guy and it wasn't because of him it was just like the point in my life um, we got out of the relationship and I immediately was working on myself and it went from like a hundred to a twenty which is really good because I just started feeling a lot better so getting into the industry I want to say I was in the right state of mind and the reason going into it I'll explain the background and everything and how I got into it I feel like wasn't as desperate and I wasn't I like thought it through enough where now I'm very content and I'm happy doing it so with that being said the first thing is I was getting out of a relationship so I got a job at Bikini Beans drinking it right now I literally love this place so much I got a job at Bikini Beans if you guys don't know what Bikini Beans is or if you guys want to know more I have a video all about my interview and my experience working there but I got a job there it was the middle of the summer um like around june and you wear a bikini and you serve coffee it's like dutch bros if you guys know what dutch bros is and i loved working there it built my confidence it made me feel better and i wore a bikini so i was like showing my body off um and empowering myself at the same time which was so awesome um so going through that <clears throat> during that time it was also like 120 here in arizona I was dying and I drive a 1997 Mercury Villager so if anyone knows what kind of vehicle that is it did not have AC and like just because it was broken it was old and I didn't have money to move out of my mom's house or to fix my AC which was like $200 which wasn't like crazy amount of money but like it was so much for me at that point and I was just I was really like dependent on the people in my life like I've always paid for my own things so at that point I was just like at a standstill because I had a job at Bikini Beans I was making enough money to pay for my own things but like the things that I really needed and wanted like getting my AC fixed I couldn't do because I couldn't afford it and then came along I had family issues so I love my family first of all they did not drive me to do this honestly I was so scared to tell them when I did decide to do this that one of the reasons though was because I didn't want to depend on them <clears throat> and I knew that my relationship with my mom would have been a lot better if we weren't like butting heads and living together because like we love each other so much we were just going through a really big rough patch and with everything else that was going on in my life and like driving every day with no AC I was just hitting a breaking point so during that time I was starting to get really fed up and it was one of those days where my car was broke down on the side of the freeway because literally I was going 70 miles an hour in this Mercury Villager 
and suddenly it drops to 10 on the freeway and I'm four lanes over in traffic and can't get over. So like I was just in one of those moments where I was like, oh my God, I don't have money. I don't have a, like a working car. I have to get to work. My mom and I are like butting heads. I'm just so stressed. And there were a couple other things that were going on. Like I was just feeling like shit that specific day about myself. So like all these things were happening and I felt like crap. Okay. And it was just, it was just one of those days where I was like, Sydney, you can change your life. So I was ranting about it on Snapchat and I ended up getting kicked out of my mom's house, but I chose to move out. So if you guys understand, like it wasn't like all my shit was on the front doorstep. Like I got to like physically move it out, which, you know, it was good because we worked through our issues and we live like we have a much better relationship, like not living together and we love each other so much. But, um, I just, I had that breaking point and I realized I needed to be financially independent and this job was pretty new and it wasn't making enough money so I decided to have this job and then do what I was doing. So a little bit of rewinding, that day, ranted on my Snapchat and I was like, hey guys, you know, send me a Venmo and see what happens, blah, 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 blah. And that's how it all started. I said, send me your Snapchat username. And I sent so many Snapchats. And some people literally sent me a quarter. Some people sent me $50. And I ended up making a little bit over like $200 or $300. And I was able to pay for my AC getting fixed. But that was the how I got into it. Because what I realized is I was sending, like I everyone expected me when they had sent me money to send them something like that and just so everyone knows I do not accept Venmo cash app any of that stuff um so if you guys are interested in my content you want to see my content go to my website but um with that being said like I was sending individual snapchats and that's how I got into it because I'm keep in mind I had gotten out of a pretty serious relationship I did not know how to take nudes I can I remember so just so everyone knows I am over the age of 18 and I was in the relationship and I was over the age of 18 we met literally like I was 18 and a half I think when he and I met and I remember like sending him photos and they looked so bad so like in the beginning when I was doing this I didn't even know how to send photos and I was so scared to like send a nude that like I was starting to by only sending like lingerie when I finally made my account I just decided I was like you know what I'm gonna make an account and I'm just going to do what I think I'm gonna enjoy and is gonna make me a little bit of money and that's how I kind of got into it then then I got really deep in the rabbit hole because I started having so much fun like I'm a very sexual person anyone who knows me knows that I have always been that way I'm the person that like I will go to a kid's store and I will make a sexual joke about something just because I think it's funny um and then also I'm very comfortable with my body I grew up between like here in Sweden so in Sweden a lot of people go topless on the beach and like you know in Europe it's like different it's not as like taboo to be naked so I've always been naturally comfortable with my body and I've also been a very naturally comfortable with sex type person my first time was awesome and I talked to my friends about masturbation so for me doing this was like a new level but like it wasn't something that I knew would make me feel bad about myself so I'm getting into it the first month you guys of doing this account which by the way I also have OnlyFans now so if you guys are interested in seeing all that content like go and check it out it's pretty good I like it I like doing it and I have fun with it so I had those accounts and in the beginning I only did like lingerie maybe like a quick like eight second video of me showering like it was it was pretty like it was pretty scary for me in the beginning like I had a pit in my stomach the first time I made a post because it was something that like I knew so many people said was wrong but for me I knew it wasn't wrong because for me it wasn't like it, I wasn't hurting people I wasn't stealing money I was providing a service and I love doing it and making people happy and like getting people off so for me it was fine and it was great <clears throat> but like in the beginning I felt sick now. I'm like, whoop, let's go. Let's post another video Let's take it in HD 4k quality today, but like 
I have so much fun creating this content and then in the beginning it was so scary for me though like I did not even post any masturbation self-pleasure videos until like the second or third month into it but now it's like so much fun to do that because I've learned so much about my own body from doing that because for me like I don't fake it like anyone who knows me knows that like my videos are 100% me just being me and they're not me faking an orgasm or you know if I don't come I don't come like in the video I literally say it but like like I've had so much fun learning about my body and in the beginning I was just trying to pray to God how to learn about my body getting more comfortable with my body loving my body way more and understanding that people are attracted to totally different things you know like the people that like my body like my body the people that like other people's bodies like their bodies People that are attracted to my body are not always attracted to other people's bodies just like they're not attracted to mine and that's 100% fine. So that was how I kind of got into it, how I started and now it's become like something that I really love to do and I have so much fun with and I can't wait to just continue doing it and see where 2019 takes me and just like have a lot of fun with it because if you guys may or may not know, it's like for me, I wake up in the morning and I'm excited because I still am in school. I am still working towards other goals, but I'm able to do this and I'm able to, you know, not worry about like how am I get my AC fixed or if I can't go out with friends. Like before, I literally could not afford to get a drink at my own work. And so now it's like nice because I feel like there's like a weight that's lifted off my shoulders and I enjoy what I do. And, um,. Yeah, it's really fun. So if you guys are interested and you guys want to check out my content, you guys totally can. I have a gallery on my website with a little bit of a sneak peek, but you can definitely not see what you can see on OnlyFans and on my other account, which is in the yellow button if you guys want to join that. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials. And if you guys have any questions, comment them down below in the q and I'm always down to answer so like anything you know as long as it's within like parameters so I don't get demonetized I'll probably still get demonetized honestly but I really want to put this out there and I really want you guys to see what it's like so with that being said I will see you guys in the next video and I love you guys so much bye babes